This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. Hi, it's Banks and welcome to the Banks Method. I've got a great barless bar workout today. This will be a total body workout with an emphasis on core stabilization and we'll be working the obliques to really whittle down the waistline. The Banks Method is my unique combo of ballet, bar, and Pilates exercises designed to maximize lengthening and strengthening of the muscles with fun dance-inspired movements. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. So you won't need a bar for this workout, but you will need a mat. So when you're ready, let's get started standing. We'll come over to the back edge of our mat. Bring those feet right underneath those hips. Let's take a deep inhale. Let's bring our arms all the way overhead. On your exhale, we're gonna hinge at the hips, pressing the glutes back. And then we're gonna just stretch out those hamstrings, dropping the palms down. Let that head hang heavy. Like, let's take a bend into both knees and then let's stretch it on out. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, let's stretch it on out. Now we're gonna bend the right knee, open up the left arm, gaze up at the ceiling, reach those fingertips long, and then lower it back down. Let's switch it to the other side. Bending the left knee, opening up the right palm, gaze up. And then we'll lower that hand back down. Let's walk on out to a downward facing dog. Take a second here, let those heels melt down towards the ground. And then let's roll it forward to our straight arm plank. So a little bend into the elbows, shift the weight forward onto the toes. We're gonna bring the heels together, toes apart, so we can really squeeze those inner thighs. And we're just holding it here for 10 counts. Good, pull the navel up towards the spine, squeeze the glutes, and breathe for six, five, four, three, two, drop those knees down. Let's take an inhale and look up at the ceiling. Let's stretch out our spine a little bit. And then exhale, press into the palms, dome in between those shoulder blades, gaze at the belly button. Again, one more time, we inhale, look up. Exhale, curl the tailbone under, gaze at the belly button. This time we're gonna come down onto our forearms, send the left leg and then the right leg back. Now the glutes are closer down towards our mat. One long line of energy from the crown of the head down to those heels. Shift the weight forward to those toes. And then we're gonna jog the right knee, then the left. We're only here for a second. It's a great way to build heat in the entire body. Right, then left. Keep those hips nice and level. Four more here, three, two. Now both knees, here we go. Down, squeeze to come up. Bend, then press. So as you bend the knees, I want you to think about pulling the navel towards the spine. As you press out, squeeze the glutes. For four, then we get a child's pose. Three, two, last one. Drop those knees down, reach those arms along, stretch it on out. And then we're gonna come all the way up. We're gonna do some roll downs here. So bring the feet hip width distance apart. And then from here, we'll bring the arms long. We sit up nice and tall, go tall through the crown of the head. And then on your exhale, slowly start to melt the low back down to the mat. We roll down bone by bone, nice and slow, keeping the belly button pressing down towards that spine. For four, three, two, let's reach those arms long. We exhale. Tuck the chin into the chest. Press through the heels. Roll on up for six, five, four, three. Set up nice and tall. Let's do that again. Roll it down for six, five, four, three. Reach the arms overhead. Press through the heels. Exhale. Scoop the abdominals as you lift back up. Reach those legs long. Let's do that again this time. Squeeze those inner thighs. If you have tight hamstrings, you can take a little bend into those knees and we roll it on down for six, five. Nice and slow, control it for four, three, two. Reach the arms, exhale. Press those heels down for six, five, four. Three, take a fold forward, stretch out the hamstrings. This time we roll it down and then hold it halfway. So notice if your rib cage is flying open, press it down, scoop the abdominals. And then from here, we lift that right leg. 
and then left, stretching out through the back of the leg, through that hamstring, right? Then left. Now we add a rotation, it's right leg twist. Then left twist to the left, reach long. Exhale, so we're feeling our obliques working. You're wringing out that spine every time you twist. Get a little bit deeper in that twist. Good, just one more on each side, twist. Nice and slow and controlled. Last time, come back center, roll it on down. Then take a full body stretch, point through the toes, open up through that rib cage. And then hug those knees into the chest, give them a nice tight squeeze. And then we're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop flex through those feet. From here, we lift the head, neck, and shoulders up high, reach long, and then lower it back down. Deep inhale to prepare, exhale. Good, we have two more like that, inhale. Reach a little bit longer, lift the entire scapula off the mat. Last one, we're gonna hold it. Reach up, lift up a little bit higher. Imagine you have a little mandarin orange between your chin and your chest. You're keeping that space there. We start to pump those arms, inhale. Exhale, so this is our Pilates hundreds here. Best way to heat up the body. I start sweating every time I do hundreds. So we're gonna do 100 sets of inhaling for four, exhaling for four, it goes by fast. So if you want that added challenge, you press those legs out to 45 as you inhale, then exhale. Inhale. If you need a modification, you place those feet down on the mat. If your neck hurts here, bring those legs to tabletop and just pump those arms. Inhale. Exhale, hardest challenge, we lower down. Exhale, to lift, it's down. Point the toes, exhale, we lift, it's down. Exhale, there's three more down. Exhale, keep pumping, two. Exhale, last one. Hold it here, reach a little bit higher for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hug those knees into the chest. And then we're gonna grab behind those thighs. Find a C curve in the spine. We roll like a ball up and down, just massaging out the length of the spine a few times, using the core to bring you up. And then let's come all the way up. Bring the heels down to the mat, stretch out the calves, the Achilles tendons, and then slowly straighten out those hamstrings. We roll on up through each vertebrae, nice and slow and controlled. And we're gonna get into some standing work. So we worked our core, we're gonna keep that core working the whole time as we move through some standing work. So those feet are hip width distance apart and parallel. From here, we're gonna just warm up our ankle joint. We lift and lower up and down. So I want you to think about growing taller through the crown of your head as you lower down. Instead of slamming those heels down, we're pulling up and out of our waist. Core is tight, think belly button towards the spine, rib cages together, shoulders stacked right over those hips. Now let's alternate right, then left, pressing over the arches, lifting one heel, then the other for four, three, two, both heels just for eight, eight, seven, we're working those calves for six, five, four, three, Two, get ready. We hold the heels up. Now bend the knees. Crown of the head stays right over the middle. We lower down until we, our thighs are starting to really work here. From here, bring those arms out to a T to stabilize you. Press through those fingertips. Press down through the shoulders. We find a pulse down. Hold the core. We find a pulse down, then up. We're trying to keep those heels lifted so we feel the thighs working, lowering and lifting in that working zone the whole time. It's a tiny one inch movement. And then focus one point in front of you and then squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs as you lift. Now we're gonna hold it down. From here, we find a little pulse. Down up for 10, nine, eight, seven, oops, six, five, four, Three, two, bring those fingertips in front. Now we lower down for two. You can let those heels come lower towards your mat here. It's down and then up, just three more here. Lower, then lift, oops. If you fall out of it, it's okay, just come right back in it. 
Good, keep focusing, last one. Get ready to hold it at that lowest point. Hold it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, roll out those shoulders, roll out those ankles. And then we're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider. We're gonna do some squats here. Just nice big dynamic movement to flush out those small isometric moves. So we sink the weight back into the heels, hips press back, and then feel your feet pressing through the floor as you lift up from that squat. Breathe. Now we're gonna hold it low on the next one. We hold it low, reach those arms overhead. We lift up through that right heel, weight is into the left leg, we pulse it down and up for 10 counts. Good, see if you can sink it one inch lower, shoulders down the back for four, three, let's switch it. Left heel comes up, pulse through that right leg. We feel that right glute, that right hamstring firing up. Left heel is high for four. Three, two, y'all ready? If you can, you either stay with the heels down or add a challenge, you lift up one inch off those heels, we take it down an inch, squeeze to come up an inch. That focus is right in front of you, that diagonal line in front of you. Neck is long, spine is long, core is in so tight. Good, just three more here. Keep breathing, two. Just one more, we hold it down. Get ready, hold it at that lowest point for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower those heels down, roll out those shoulders. And then we're gonna bring our heels together, toes apart. Slightly externally rotated, so we're not overly rotated, just a small V, knees over toes. From here, step out into your wide second. Press those knees right over the second toe and the third toe. Rotate towards your lunge. Right leg is forward, left leg is back. Open up, find that second, then squeeze that right leg in to meet the left. Find that first again, that's our combo. Second, lunge, open, squeeze to come in. Second, lunge, open. Try to drag that heel, really feel that inner thigh firing up. Let's add those arms. Big open squeeze to come in. So that upper body is nice and relaxed. That lower body is working, but our core is in so tight because we have no bar to help us here, right? We open, rotate, squeeze that inner thigh open. Just two more like that. Stay low if you can. Good, last one. Now hold that lunge, hands go on the hip. From here, we step back, and then we bring that right leg forward. Step back and forward. So we're, so we're springing off that right foot. We're trying to make two 90 degree angles. You can take this one at your own pace. You don't have to go as fast as me. You go a little bit slower if you need to. Just focus on the integrity of that form. Try to keep your upper body lifted. Chin up, chest up. Back heel is high at the bottom of that lunge. Try to visualize that back knee hovering over the mat and then get it there. Try to go low. Front knee is behind the ankle. Two more here. Get ready, we hold it down on the next one. Now hinge your upper body forward. Straighten out through your left leg. Arms come along. We bring the knee into the chest and then we come back, reach it along. Knee comes in, we stay low in that lunge. So you're starting to feel that right glute, right hamstring talk to you. That's normal. I'm feeling it on that right side for sure. Two more, it's in. Breathe. Last one, hold that knee into the chest and then press that left leg out long. Make sure both hip bones are pointed down towards your mat. Flex through the left foot, we tap and lift. Take it down and up. pull the core in tight. Keep breathing, four more, three, two, hold it up. Now, let's bend that left heel, bring it close to your seat, hands come to heart center. We flex that foot up to the ceiling for 10, nine. You're stamping that footprint up, eight, seven. Squeeze the ledge of the seat for six, five, four, three, two. Last one, drop that foot down. Hinge it on forward, stretch out those hamstrings. And then we're gonna plant the hands down onto the mat. 
We have mountain climbers. We're gonna get into the core before we hit that other side. So we bring those knees into the chest nice and slow and controlled. Make sure the shoulders are stacked right over the wrist. Shift the forward a little bit more onto those tippy toes. For four, you gotta keep breathing. Three, two, if y'all want that extra challenge, we got 16 counts, we take it double time. Getting our heart rate up, you got it for eight. Seven, then we stretch after this. Five, last four, three, two, stretch it out. Find that downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Walk those hands to the feet. And we're gonna roll up through each vertebrae. So come to the other side of your mat. Shoulders over hips, squeeze the glutes, squeeze those inner thighs. And let's find that wide second. We rotate that right knee and find that lunge, two 90 degree angles, hips are square. Now open back up, squeeze the left inner thigh. Again, we open, lunge, second, first. Open, lunge, let's add those arms. We open and squeeze. Try to keep your shoulders stacked right over your hips as you come into that second so we're not leaning forward. We're opening up through that chest. We're using those outer thighs to press those knees open. Two more. Last one here. Hold that lunge, left leg forward, right leg is back. We spring off that left foot and then come back down again. Feel free to take this one at your own pace. It's more about range of motion here rather than how quickly you can go. Trying to go low into that lunge and then spring off that left foot. Powerfully springing off that left foot here. Four more. We got three. Almost there. You got it, two, stick with it. Last one, let's hold it down. Hinge that upper body forward, bring those arms out. Let's bring the knees in and then drive it out. Stay low in that left standing leg. Nice and slow and controlled. Feel that right oblique firing up as you bring that knee into the chest. It's in, then drive it out. Good, just two more here, in, then drive it out. Last one, get ready, we hold that knee in, and then extend that right leg out straight. Flex through the right foot, we tap, and lift for eight, down. Squeezing right where the glute meets the hamstring. Every time you lift, keep pulling the core in. So we're lifting from our glute, not from our low back. Good, three more here. Last two. Hold it up. Flex through that foot. Bring the heel of the seat, palms in. Lift it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Just four more here. Three, two, one. Drop that leg on down. Inhale, arms overhead, fold it forward. We got one set of push-ups on those knees or on the toes. So if you're on the knees, bring the heels close to the seat, shift the weight off the kneecaps. So you're in a diagonal line. If you're on those toes, pull the core in tight. Just 10 push-ups today, you guys, wide arm push-ups. It's 10, nine. Maybe try one on the knees, then one on the toes, just to challenge yourself if you're trying to do all knees. I think we got four more. We got four. Three. Last two. Last one. Take that child's pose. Stretch it on out. Roll out those wrists. Take whatever you need. And then we're gonna swing our legs around. We're gonna do another abdominal set here. We're gonna roll back and do an abdominal set. So we'll come down onto our forearms and then roll the tailbone down towards the ground. So the waistband of your pants is trying to find the mat. You're making a C curve with the spine. Forearms are pressing down, then roll the shoulders down the back so they're not up towards the ears. They're pressing down and we're scooping through the abdominals. From here, we're gonna just lift the right leg 
and then the left, just feeling it out, keeping that same position in the spine. If you feel like you can't get your shoulders down your back, then just bring your forearms a little bit closer towards your hips and then press them down. Keep scooping the abdominals. Now we're gonna alternate toe taps, right, then left. Keep breathing, <sighs> inhaling. If you feel like your abdominals wanna pooch out here, a good way to press them down is find a deep, forceful exhale, like you're trying to fog up a mirror. And then you're able to deepen your abs. We have four more here. Three, two, both legs to tabletop. Reset that form. Press the abdominals down. We bring the knees away from the hips one inch and then back in. I feel my entire abdominal wall shaking and firing up as I press it out. If you feel your low back talking to you, take this a little bit smaller range of motion. If you want more of a challenge, you press those legs all the way out to 45, then back in. Exhale, big inhale. Exhale, squeeze those inner thighs. Keep scooping it, scooping through the abs as you bring the knees in. Two more. Now press it out to 45, flex the feet right leg, lower is just the right for eight. Seven, feel that right oblique firing up. Six, five, four, three. Switch it over to that left leg. Here we go. Eight. Feel free to reset that form whenever you need to here. Shoulders down the back. Scoop for six, five, four, three, two. Legs back into tabletop. Reset, and we're gonna finish off with scissors. Shoulders down the back, legs to tabletop. We switch right to left, add a challenge. You straighten out those legs alternating. Scissoring out those legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll all the way back, hug those knees in, and then take a full body stretch. Point through those toes, reach the arms long, open up through the rib cage. And then we're gonna bring those legs into a tabletop. We're gonna take some chest lifts here. We exhale. Inhale, we lower, elbows are wide. We got a, a quick set of flat back abdominals, and then we're on to glutes after this. Now we're gonna hold the head, neck, and shoulders up high. Left elbow comes to the right knee, then come back center. Other side. And center. Try to bring the elbow to the knee rather than bringing that knee up to the elbow. Knees stay stacked right over the hips, and then we're just twisting. Good, just two more. Last one, let's take it to bicycles for 16 counts, then we're done. Switch and switch. Let's point through those toes. Last eight, you got seven, six, stick with it for four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. And then we're gonna do some glute work. So come back to a tabletop here. We'll stretch out the abdominals first, taking a few cat and cows. Inhale, we look up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Again, we stretch out the abdominals, look up, open up through that rib cage. You can shake those hips side to side. And then we'll find that neutral spine here. We're gonna extend the right leg out to the side and then come down onto your left forearm. Press through the right palm as you lift that right leg up and then lower it back down. Lift and lower. So you should feel that outer part of the glute working. That's the medius right there is what starts to talk to you right away. This one is not easy. Lift and lower. Modification, you keep a bend into the knee and you take fire hydrants here. Maybe try one bent and one straight, and then eventually just keep that leg straight. We got eight more here. This one is not easy. Seven, stick with it for six. Five, pull the core in tight. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Bring that right leg back. Bring both forearms down, and then we tap and then lift. Tapping the right toes down and lifting up. Glute is working here. Leg is stick straight. You wanna feel that heel reaching away from the hip. Now let's hold the leg up, point the toe. Let's tap.
tap over to the left side of our mat and then over to the right, carving out the inner part of the glute and then the outer part. Good, two more here, left, then right, last set, left and right. Now come back, center, flex to the foot, 10 lifts for nine, eight, seven, a little bit higher for six, squeeze a little bit tighter for five, four, three, two, one. Find a child's pose and walk those fingertips over to the left side of your mat, pull the hips over to the right, stretch out the side body. And then let's take the other way and then come back center, press through those palms and we're gonna flip on over here. So here we lengthen the legs out long, flex through the feet, put the fingertips right behind the glutes, they're pointed forward, roll the shoulders down the back and then drive through those heels, squeeze the glutes, we lift the hips up and then from here, we're squeezing those abdominals and just holding it here for a second. So if you want that added challenge, you lift the right leg up, drive through that left heel, you feel that left hamstring working, then the other leg. You're stabilizing with that core the whole time. Rib cages together, belly button towards that spine. Up, good shoulders down the back. Last set, you got it. And then lift those hips for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, lower the glutes down, roll out those wrists. Let's take a fold forward here, stretch out those hamstrings. And then we're gonna swing those legs around. We're gonna hit that left glute now. So come down on to the right forearm, press the left palm. So the right forearm is parallel to the front of your mat and extend that left leg out. Make sure you're not sinking into that right hip. Place most of the weight into that left hand. And then from here, we lift and lower. Taking it up and down. So you want that heel right in line with the hip. <sighs> lift and lower. Final eight, here we got eight. Seven, keep the gaze down. Six, five, last four. Almost there, three, two. Hold it up, bring that leg right behind you. Both forearms come down, hips are square down towards your mat. We tap our mat, then lift it up, down and up. Four more here. Two, hold it up, let's point the toe. We tap the right side, then left. Rainbow out that leg, tapping one side, then the other. Try to keep those hips nice and still. Carve out every single corner of your glute. Feel the shake at the top of that semicircle. Good, just two more sets. Keep breathing, last set here. And then we come back center, flex to that foot, 10 lifts. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that leg down, stretch those arms long. Then let's walk the hands over to the right side, sink the hips towards the left. And then walk the hands over to the other side. And then come back through to the center. And we've got one final abdominal set to finish off. So the same way we started class, we're gonna end class. So the legs are long. We're gonna find our roll down, flex through the feet. This time your abdominals are super warm. So we're gonna get in a, a little bit deeper as we roll down. We scoop, 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 scoop. And then take a deep inhale at the bottom. Exhale, press the rib cage down, roll up. Bone by bone, pressing those heels down, lift up nice and tall. On this next one, we're gonna hold it halfway down. We hold it halfway, reach the arms up. Exhale, press down. Last one. Hold it down. Now we rotate over to the right and then to the left. If you want that added challenge, we're gonna add the lift of that leg, right leg. Then left, just four of these. Right, 
then left. Last three. Last two. Good. Last one. Let's hold it in the center. Press the abdominals down. Isometric hold. Find that shake in the core for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll it all the way back. Take a full body stretch point through those toes. And then we'll hug both knees into the chest. We're gonna take some spinal twists, hugging the right knee in, lengthen that left leg long. And then let's just bring the right knee over to the left side, gaze over that right shoulder, stretching out that spine. Just letting gravity do the work here. And then we'll take that spinal twist on the other side, hug the left knee in, extend that right leg long and allow that left knee to fall over to one side. Gaze over that left shoulder. Trying to keep the shoulders melting down. Those hips come off the mat. And let's come back center. And then hug both knees back into the chest. Take little circles just to massage out that low back from one direction and then the other. Just releasing any tension that's in that low back. And then we'll rock forward and back three times here. And we'll come all the way on up. And then let's cross the right ankle over the left thigh. We'll take a spinal twist. Press the left hand into the right leg and then gaze behind you. Open up through that chest. And then let's switch it out to the other side. Left ankle over right, press and open up that chest. And then let's come to a butterfly stretch here. Soles the feet together. Those knees fall out wide. And then reach the left arm up and overhead. Trying to stack those shoulders. Try to open up the chest to the ceiling. And then we're gonna rotate all the way towards the center. Reach the arms long. You can let that head go, stretching out the hips. And then when you're ready, walk on over to the other side. Right arm reaches overhead. Open up the chest and then come back center. Take one inhale, bring those arms overhead. Let's cactus the arms, open the chest. Arms overhead one more time and then bring those hands through heart center. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. I hope you enjoyed my total body workout. I recommend doing this workout three to five times a week to really feel those core stabilizers start to really change. And I hope to see you again soon. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell. This workout combines all my favorites, Pilates, bar, yoga, ballet, with dynamic exercises that really flow. I recommend doing it three to five times a week and mixing it up with some of my other Banks Method workouts. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.